Good morning, fourth standard. So today we're going to do the next poem. There, okay, and it's called "If I Were a Sloth." Now this poem too was written by uh, Kathy Payson. Okay, she's an American, and she's written a lot of uh, poems, and uh, uh, she's uh, interested in nature too. Okay. So uh, here, I'll, uh, first I'll put in the poem for you, the listening activity. So uh, you can listen to it uh, just now. OK? Track 49. If I Were Slow by Kathy Payson. If I were a slow. Hanging from a tree, I could show the world my personality. I would see the world hanging upside down, dangling like a coconut high above the ground. I would nap all day in the canopy of the rainforest Cecropia trees. I would move real slow, slow as slow can be, hiding from Jaguar, my fierce enemy. I am nocturnal. I only play at night. When the sun goes down, I like to grab a bite. I can whistle like a bird. I am really rare. With my long, long arms, people like to stare. In my grey-green coat, I will always thrive. I'm a little sloth. I make the jungle jive. Okay, so you heard the poem there. Okay, so uh, now we'll do the poem together. Okay. So, uh, first, uh, I, I hope you remember that uh, I had sent you all, uh, in one of our earlier classes, I had sent you a picture of the sloth, right? Uh, when we were just uh, talking about uh, rainforest animals. Okay, so now all of you please open your textbook to page 120. Page 120 and we'll do the poem together. Okay, now here, once again, they've asked you to match, uh, uh, to read and listen to the poem and then put the illustrations in order. Put them in order. That means uh, one, two, three, four, according to the poem, how uh, they have uh, uh, been put in order. So you'll have to put the, uh, uh, against the picture, you'll have to write the, number of the verse. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven verses, but uh, you have just four uh, pictures. So you can put them in order according to the verse that is, uh, that is five pictures. Uh, you can put them in order according to the verses. Okay. So uh, now we'll read the poem together. Okay. If I were a sloth hanging from a tree, I could show the world my personality. I would see the world hanging upside down, dangling like a coconut high above the ground. So here, the sloth says that he's always hanging from a tree. And he's, like I told you, he's very lazy, remember. So he says that hanging from a tree, he would show the world what his characters like the quality of his characters that form his character okay and I would see the world hanging upside down so we would see the world hanging upside down because the sloth is always hanging from the tree and see the comparison they made there dangling like a coconut now dangling means it's hanging or it is swinging very loosely like a coconut from a tree high above the ground so you know that uh, coconuts are high up in the tree isn't it so the sloth also saying that it is hanging from the tree like a coconut it's comparing itself to the coconut i would nap all day in the canopy of the rainforest cecropia trees so he says that he's always going to be sleeping Sleeping, maybe just a little time, but he's going to be sleeping. Where? Where is he going to be sleeping? 
in the which layer of the forest in the canopy remember we learned that uh, word the canopy that is the layer that comes after the emergent layer remember and it, the trees there are about what height remember i told you about 30 meters high remember and usually among which trees does it live the cecropia trees that are found in the rainforest okay i would move real slow slow as slow can be hiding from jaguar my fierce enemy so which animal is the sloth hiding from which animal is he scared of the jaguar right the jaguar you see the jaguar there in picture a right so you saw he's hiding behind the bush the sloth because he doesn't want to be caught by the jaguar right i am nocturnal i only play at night when the sun goes down i like to grab a bite okay so what do you mean what is what does uh, the sloth mean when he says i am nocturnal when you say something is nocturnal you mean that it is it comes out during the night it comes out during the night and if usually an animal comes out during the day we say it is diurnal that is the opposite of nocturnal is diurnal okay now you know that frogs bats owls all these creatures come out during the night isn't it that's why we call them nocturnal so he says that he comes to find some food grab a bite after the sun has set okay now the next verse at the top of the page there i can whistle like a bird i am really rare with my long long arms people like to stare so he says that uh, he can uh, whistle like a bird there's a comparison once again whistle you know what is to whistle isn't it you bring your lips close and you have a sound coming out of your uh, lips right so so he says that he has long arms and he's hanging from the tree and people like to stare at him stare means to look at something for a long time without closing your eyes or turning away okay and what do you mean by rare when i say that's a real rare book or a real rare precious stone that is something that does not occur very often it's not easily seen anywhere okay in my gray green coat i will always thrive i am a little sloth i make the jungle jive so he says that he will always thrive that he will always grow and develop and be happy and that he this little sloth he says that he'll make the jungle jive means he will make the jungle dance and make it lively and full of life and it will make it energetic okay so you've got the meaning of the poem there those were words also and i'm sure you're able to connect uh, each uh, picture with the respective verse so you'll be able to put it in order right so the picture against the <clears throat> the order you think it is you'll just have to put the numbers against it okay now let's go on to the next page use these action verbs from the poem in the correct form to complete the sentences use your dictionary to check for the meaning now i think you do know the meanings of these words okay but if you are not too sure please go to the, your dictionary and find the words now do all of you all know how to use a dictionary ma all of you all fourth standard do you know how to use a dictionary you take the first letter and then you open the dictionary to that letter see what is the next letter and find the word okay so now in the box you have hang move play whistle stare okay 
Now these sentences I'd like you to do it in your notebook. Okay, now today's Friday. You can do it in your notebook and put it for me in the assignment box on Monday. Yes, okay. Hedgehogs dash very slowly. Hedgehogs are uh, small little uh, brown colored animals and uh, a little they resemble the porcupine but it is brown in color okay why is why is that girl dash at me do i look funny the next one monkeys use their arms to dash from tree branches what does it do if you see a picture of the sloth then you know right what it's doing with its arms from the tree's branches Children like to dash, hide and seek. Now all of y'all like to what hide and seek? Think and you can fill up that blank. It's very easy. Number five, my parrot dash at me when I come into the room. What do parrots do? Just think of that and you get that answer. Now the next one too. Read the poems again. That is both of them. That is if I were a sloth and a visit with Mr. Tree Frog. Read the poems again and compare the tree frog and the sloth. Are the sentences true or false? Now this also uh, you can do it but you can do it in your textbook itself. Okay just you can mark true and false. They both live in the rainforest. They are both poisonous, they are both nocturnal and they both make strange noises. True or false, you can just put the T or F next to it. Okay, now next. Nine, word study. Here, okay. Similes. Now what are similes? Similes are when we, you know, compare two objects and we say one is like the other or one is as, you know, maybe beautiful or white when we compare two things. Okay. Now, for example, I might say her teeth are as white as snow. Okay. They are as white as snow. Okay. So there uh, we have a comparison. A simile okay so uh, you see these similes here in this poem now where do we see it we compare now we will just read that we compare two things by using the word like look at the examples from the poems complete the similes below using your own words they pop up like snaps like the comparison there dangling like a coconut Okay, so you see there's a comparison there and they're using the word like. Now, what other uh, similes can you think of? You all tell me. Like maybe you, yeah, you might uh, say that the giraffe is as tall as Burj Khalifa. Or you might think of somebody who's very tall, like maybe your father. My father is as tall as a giraffe. Okay, so see you're comparing two things, right? You're giving the quality of one to another. Okay, the sloth is furry like. Furry means it has lots of hair. So you think of something that has a lot of hair that is furry, right? Then the sloth is lazy like dash. Now you can think of an animal that is lazy, right? And you're comparing the sloth with that because the sloth is also lazy. Next, the frog is green like dash. Think of an object that is green in color. Okay, so you're saying that the frog is also green like that particular green object. The frog slime is magic like what? Magic. The slime is magic and in what way do you think it's like that? Okay, now this also uh, along with uh, exercise 7, you can put it into your 
notebook for Monday. Okay. Now, 10 also, I'd like you to do it uh, in your notebook. Write more similes about the sloth and the tree frog. Now, here just you can write uh, uh, one more for me. One uh, simile about the sloth and one about the tree frog. Now, if you can write more, well and good for you. Okay, now think. Okay, think and then uh, write a simile for the sloth and one for the tree frog. Okay, now here, 11. Which rainforest animal do you like best? Okay, give reasons for your answer. Okay, uh, I had asked you all to write about the... Uh, uh, by, about a rainforest animal, remember? So, because you all are doing that, I won't uh, ask you all to do this exercise. Okay? So, uh, I'll give you the answers to the uh, previous uh, lessons, questions. Okay? I hope you've uh, written them there in your textbook itself. Okay? So, I'll uh, give that to you now. If you can uh, open your textbook to page 119. Yes. So, uh, the answers to that. Intense, bright, open and close your eyes quickly, blink, a nice temperature, warm, to heal something, cure, to move quickly, from side to side, wiggle and a surprising thing, wonder. Okay? So, have a great day, 4th standard, and good morning once again.